This week, I've been driving a luxuriously appointed EV that combines looks, finesse, a practical size, and all-wheel drive capabilities. So if you're in the market for an electric SUV, but you don't want to compromise on any creature comforts, let me show you the new Genesis GV70. There's only one electric GV70 model to choose from, and it will cost you just under $128,000 before on-road costs. Considering the market, that's on par for the course without being the most expensive option. And you get some great features too, like heated and ventilated Napa leather seats, panoramic sunroof, and twin motors that deliver some serious oomph. The GV70 deserves the SUV tag. This is a large car, but there's a subtle refinement in the design that makes it look elegant. The curves are sleek, the LED lights slim, and the back windows very dark, which all creates a luxe mystery to an already sexy looking package. The cabin is plush. The black headliner, backlit panel inserts on the doors and customizable ambient lighting makes us feel very special inside. And I love the color options on the trim and paintwork. You can make this feel like your own. There's ample room in here and the electric adjustments available on these seats make it pretty much impossible to not get comfortable. Plus, both front seats have a massage function, which is just divine. The cabin looks quite futuristic, but not confusing. You have a lovely looking touch interface for the controls. The head up display is clear and the digital instrument panel is a little bit trippy because it kind of looks like a hologram without the image instability, but you do get used to it. Also, this 14 and a half inch touchscreen multimedia system is huge, but very easy to use. I also really like the storage up front. You've got a large glove box and middle console, plus storage bins in both doors and two cup holders. You also have a very deep phone cubby to the side of the cup holders, which also has a wireless charging pad. It's really nice back here. The seats are comfortable and the leather very soft. And I love the amenities you have. You're pretty much sorted for anything you need. You have directional air vents, climate control, USB ports, reading lights, drink bottle holders, cup holders, retractable sun blinds, you name it, you pretty much have it. The outboard seats have isofix mounts and three top tethers, but realistically you're only gonna fit two seats side by side. Front passengers still enjoy plenty of space when a zero to four rearward facing child seat is installed too. So it offers some flexibility for growing families. I like the level load space of the boot. It makes it easy to slide things in and out, but the sloped roof does make it tricky to fit larger items in. You have a tire puncture repair kit underneath the floor and the power tailgate has been very handy as well. This handles beautifully and is responsive at all speeds, but it's downright fun when you have to put your foot down. The ride comfort is smooth and comfy and you barely register any wind or road noise in it either, which is fantastic. This has a pretty cool feature too, an eye pedal. When it's engaged, you only use the one pedal. So take your foot off the accelerator and the car will start braking, even coming to a full stop. But it's not as smooth as others that I've used. Parking this is also a dream with a crisp 360 degree view camera and sensors making light work of even a tight spot. This has a decent range on it, but it does have an official energy consumption figure of 19.9 kilowatt per hour per 100 kilometers, which is fairly high, but not outrageous for a twin motored SUV with this performance potential. Their clever regen braking also takes out any of the range anxiety. It's very easy to charge and you can even plug it in on a standard home socket. You just might be waiting a while. The GV70 comes with some good safety features that you expect, like AEV, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring, and a blind spot camera view that pops up on the instrument panel for added assurance. It has eight airbags, including a front center airbag, 
and at the time of this video hasn't been rated with ANCAP yet, but its fuel-based siblings both achieved five-star ratings in 2021. This has the standard five years unlimited kilometre warranty, and impressively, it has complimentary servicing for the first five years, and new owners don't even have to step foot in a service centre if you're within 70 kilometres of a major CBD, because Genesis will come and collect and then return the car for you. This would have to be one of the loveliest cars that I've driven. It handles beautifully and looks damn fine on the road. Larger families and those with small children might struggle a little bit with the boot space, but it suited my small family just fine. I love the complimentary servicing and customer care promises, because when you're spending the money, you do want to feel looked after. I would have liked a slightly longer driving range, but it still easily earns a nine and a half out of 10 from me. If you're after more details, check out the full review at the Cars Guide site. The link will be in the description.